With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Two tabs running together can fill a tank in 3 1 13 hours. If one tap takes 3 hours more than the other to fill the tank, then how much time will each take to fill the tank? So now, there are two tabs running together and they can fill a tank in 3 1 by 13 hours and if one tap takes 3 more hours than the other to fill the tank then how much time will each tap will take to fill the tank so now the time is let's suppose let's suppose time in hours is equal to for tap 1 for tap 2 so for tap 1 it will be x so now it is given that if one tap takes 3 hours more than the other to fill the tank so now there will be one first tap that will take x so other will take more than 3 so it will be x plus 3 so now we know that now we know that let the the time taken by tap 1 to fill the tank is equal to x r so we know that if one tap will take x hours so other will take 3 hours more so the tap 2 will take x plus 3 hours so now then time taken by tap 2 will be x plus 3 hours according to question now time taken by both the tabs is 3 1 by 13 hours time taken by time taken by both to fill the tank is equal to 3 1 by 13 that is equal to 13 3, 31 plus 39 plus 1 40 upon 30 13 hours so now we know that we know that the time taken by tap 1 to fill the tank is equal to x hours so now so now in x hour it is taking to fill the tank so in 1 hour in 1 hour in one hour tap one will work is equal to one x if in x hours it is taking to fill the tank so in one hour it will take one by x unit of work so similarly similarly in one hour tap two will work one upon x plus three so now we know that we know that time taken by to fill the tank is 40, 40 upon 13 so now similarly similarly tap 1 plus tap 2 1 hour work will be equal to 30, 13 upon 40 so now we know that we know that we know the tap 1 we know the tap 2 so we'll add this so we'll get according to the problem 1 upon x plus 1 upon x plus 3 is equal to 13 upon 40 so now it is very clear that if both taps are taking 40 by 13 hours to fill the tank so in 1 hours they will take reciprocal of this that will be 1 upon 40 upon 13 that will be equal to 13 upon 40 so now we'll add these so first of all we'll take lcm lcm will be x into x plus 3 so it will be x plus 3 plus x is equal to 13 upon 40 so now we can write this as 2x plus 3 2x plus 3 cross multiplying this into 40 is equal to 13 into x into x plus 3 so we can write this as 
40 into 2 that is 80x plus 120 is equal to 13x square plus 39. So after solving this, we'll get 13x square, 13x square plus 39x, so it will be 39x minus 80x minus 120 is equal to 0. So now 13x square, 13x square is equal to, is equal to 39 minus 80x will be equal to minus 41x minus 120 is equal to 0. So now we'll find the factors of this equation. Factors of so we can write this as we can write 41x x 13x square. We can write 41x as minus 65 x plus 24 x minus 120 is equal to 0. So now we'll take 13x common. So we'll get x minus 5 plus we will take 24 common. We'll get x minus 5 is equal to 0. So now 13x plus 24 into x minus 5 is equal to 0. So the value of x is, so the value of x will be equal to 5 and 13x plus 24 is equal to 0 will be minus 24 upon 13. As we know that time, as we know that x is equal to time which can't be negative. So this is not possible. So the value of x will be equal to 5 that is that is x was time taken by tap 1 to fill the tank so now time taken by tap 1 is equal to 5 hours and the tap 2 is 5 plus 3 that is 8 hours so time taken by tap 2 will be equal to 8 hours so this will be our answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.